Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be giving my MLB DraftKings picks uh, for Saturday, August 5th. Uh, we got a nice size slate on this Saturday today, a 12-game main slate. Um, pitching today, uh, it's rather loaded up top, or towards the mid-range today. Uh, we only have one guy over 10K, uh, and then after that, uh, it's a lot of good mid-range options that you can target. Uh, so going towards the mid-range guys uh, really does allow you to pay up for some bats. There is a course Field game today on this slate. Uh, so I definitely think you're going to have salary to pay off for bats if you go towards the mid-range. If you target two mid-range guys, uh, that's the way I'm going to be going. I don't really want to pay up for Garrett Cole today. Uh, obviously, the matchup is great at home against the Padres, but um, 11K, I don't really like that price tag for Garrett Cole. I think there are better options that are cheaper uh, that you can target at the mid-range. So going to be off of Garrett Cole today. Uh, going to be looking towards the mid-range for my two pitchers. All right, so my first pitcher that I like today, uh, like I said, going towards the mid-range, uh, going to be taking the discount off of Garrett Cole, the 1500 discount off of him. Uh, I really like Charlie Morton today at 9500 getting a matchup against Toronto. Uh, I really like this spot for Morton. I love this matchup against the Blue Jays. Uh, they're just not an offense you really have to fear. Uh, besides Justin Smoke, uh, this offense, they're just not good. They're not hitting the ball well. A lot of their bats are really cold right now. Uh, Jose Bautista, he's been so bad lately. His price is 3K on DraftKings. Russell Martin really hadn't been hitting the ball well. Donaldson hasn't been that great. Smoke has definitely been hitting well, but but outside of him, this just really isn't an offense you're going to fear. Uh, so I love Charlie Morton today. The Blue Jays do have a really low total. They're only implied uh, to score 4.1 runs, uh, and Charlie Morton is a minus 151 favorite. So I really like him in this spot. Uh, if you look at the split leaderboards and how the Blue Jays uh, rank versus right-handed pitching, uh, they have a decent K rate. They're about middle of the pack. Uh, they're striking out 20.5% 20, 20 of the time. And like I said, not really an offense you have to fear. They're hitting a 243 average and a 313 Woba, which is about middle of the pack. But as of late, this team has been really cold. Uh, so I definitely think they're a team that we can target. Uh, I really like Charlie Morton today. I love his price tag. In his last game against Tampa Bay, he was 10-6, and today you're getting him at just 9,500. Uh, so I love the discount we're getting off of Charlie Morton. Uh, I think he's in a great spot here. Uh, he has already pitched against, or he's already pitched against the Blue Jays once this year. Uh, got 17.9 DraftKings points, which is solid. Uh, pitched six innings, allowed four hits, allowed one run, got three strikeouts. So he was definitely able to limit the damage in that outing. Uh, I think he's going to be able to get more than just three strikeouts in this game. Uh, so Charlie Morton. My SP1 today, I uh, definitely think he could outscore Garrett Cole here. So I'm going to be taking the discount off of Cole uh, and go with, going with Charlie Morton for 9500 uh, And then my SP2, a guy that I really like, um, is going to be at 8400 And that's Denelson Lamette uh, getting a matchup against the Pirates. Uh, I absolutely love Lamette here. Um, he just faced his Pirates offense and absolutely mowed them down. I believe he finished with yeah close to 25 DK points. Uh, got 24 0.5 DraftKings points the last time he faced this team. Uh, pitched six innings, allowed two, run, allowed two runs, but got seven strikeouts. And like I said, finished with 24.5 uh, DK points. Uh, so Lamette has already seen this team once this year and done well against them. Uh, I definitely think he's going to pitch well here. Pretty much all the good bats on the Pirates are right-handed. Uh, so that will favor Lamette. He's not really going to have to worry about a bunch of lefties. I believe the Pirates only have like two lefties in their projected lineup. Yeah, Polanco and Josh Bell are the only two lefties uh, projected in the, start, in the starting lineup for the Pirates. So that's great for Lamette. Uh, I believe he's dominated right-handers this year. I think he has close to a 30% K rate against righties. Uh, and he's going to be able to face seven right-handed hitters today. Uh, so Denelson Lamette, absolutely love him at 8,400. Uh, I definitely think he has upside here in the spot. Uh, last time he faced his Pirates team, he managed to get seven strikeouts. Uh, we could definitely see him repeat that outing today. So, Denelson Lamette, my SP2 today at 8,400. When you plug in Morton and Lamette as your two pitchers, uh, that still leaves us over 4K remaining per player. Uh, so, we do have some really good salary to work with. Um, there are definitely some expensive bats you want to get in today. Uh, there's a court, course field game. The Red Sox are going up against James Shields. You're definitely going to want to pay up for some of them. So, going with these two mid range pitchers will free us up some salary. Uh, we still are only left with 4K, so definitely going to need some value. Uh, so my first uh, batter that I like is going to be at first base, a value play here. A uh, guy I think is way too cheap today for his matchup uh, is Mike Napoli at just 3,200, getting a matchup against Kyle Gibson. Uh, Kyle Gibson, uh, just not a good pitcher, doesn't strike anybody out. 
Uh, gives up a ton of home runs and a ton of hard contact, which definitely favors well for Mike Napoli. If there is one problem that Napoli does struggle with, it is striking out. Uh, but given the matchup against Kyle Gibson, uh, Gibson, he is not striking righties out at all this year. Only has a 15% K rate against righties. Um, the one thing that Gibson does struggle with uh, is a lot of home runs and a lot of hard contact, which favors right into Napoli's uh, repertoire. Uh, if he's hitting the ball, it's going over the fence. Napoli's already had 22 home runs this year, uh, so he's in a great spot here. Kyle Gibson, uh, he's given up a 1.7 home run per nine to right-handed hitters this year. Uh, like I said, he gives up a lot of hard contact, 46.6% uh, medium contact, and 37.9% hard contact to right-handed hitters. Uh, so I love Mike Napoli today. I also think he has some BVP going in his favor. Uh, he's only 2 for 9 against Kyle Gibson, so he's only batting 222 against him. But those two hits were both home runs, so 2 for 9 against Gibson. Uh, but the two hits he got were home runs, so, so I feel like Napoli has some great home run potential here. Uh, it's just 3200 Love that price tag. Love that value. Uh, so Mike Napoli, uh, if you need some value at first base, definitely consider him at 3200 And then my next play is going to be at third base. Uh, Mid-range play I like here uh, is Miguel Sano at 4200 getting a matchup against Cole Hamels. I really like Miguel Sano today, given the matchup against Hamels. Uh, and I also really like uh, Sano's price tag at just 4200 I definitely think that is a little too cheap. So things are looking really good for Miguel Sano today. Uh, if you just look at the matchup, it's a really good matchup uh, for going up against Cole Hamels. Uh, if there's one thing Cole Hamels does struggle with, it's a lot of hard contact to right-handed hitters. Uh, he's given up a 47.8% medium contact and nearly 40% hard contact to right-handed hitters. Uh, so that favors well with Miguel Sano. We know he's he hits the ball really hard. If Sano's putting the bat on the ball, we know it's going to be hard contact. Um, so he's in a great spot here. I believe he also does have some good BVP going in his favor. Uh, yeah, he's gone 4 for 6 against Cole Hamels. Small sample size, uh, but still, he's gone 4 for 6 with a home run. Uh, so I really like Miguel Sano today. I love his price tag of just 4200 uh, I think he's another guy that has great home run potential here against Cole Hamels. Uh, Hamels has just given up a lot of hard contact to right-handed hitters this year. Uh, so that, fav that favors well for Miguel Sano. Uh, so if you're looking for a mid-range play at third base, definitely consider him at 4200 And then my final play uh, is going to be in the outfield. Like I said at the beginning of the video, James Shields is on the mound today. So we're going to want to get some uh, bats going up against him. Uh, and I'm going to be looking to do that today with Andrew Benatendi uh, at the outfield for 4600 Absolutely love Andrew Benatendi today. I uh, don't love his price tag. 4600 uh, does seem a little bit too expensive. Uh, he got a huge price increase off of his last game. In his last game against the White Sox, he was only 3600 And today he's up to 4600 which I don't really like. Uh, but I definitely think the price increase is worth it. Uh, this is a great spot against James Shields. Uh, James Shields might be the worst pitcher in the majors. Uh, the dude just sucks. He gives up a ton of home runs to lefties and a ton of hard contact. Uh, so far this year, the left-handed hitters, he's given up a 3.65 home run per nine. Uh, and he's only striking out lefties 13% of the time, which is pretty bad. Uh, so Ben, ben Attendee's going to have a great chance to put the ball in play. And like I said, uh, when batters are putting the ball in play against James Shields, it's a lot of hard contact. 44.6% uh, medium contact to lefties and 32.6% hard contact. Uh, so I love this spot for Andrew, Andrew Benatendi. I uh, love this spot for the Red Sox just as a team. They have to be probably one of the best stacks on this slate. Uh, their, their total is insanely high. It's almost as high as the Rockies in cores. Uh, right now Vegas has their total at 6.5 runs. Um, so you're definitely going to want to get some exposure to the Red Sox. Uh, they're in a great spot here against James Shields. So I'm going to be looking to get some exposure to that team with Andrew Benatendi today at 4600 And yeah, so these are my five plays for tonight, guys. Uh, I went with Charlie Morton, Denelson Lamette, Mike Napoli, Miguel Sano, and Andrew Benatendi. Uh, when you plug these five guys in your lineup, that still leaves you over 4K remaining per player. Uh, so you can really uh, build around this five. Just plug in maybe a value player or two. Uh, and you can definitely make a lineup around this five. Um, or if you want to get my full lineups, then be sure to follow me on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. Um, my lineups are $5 a day, or you can get a week of lineups for $25. So message me on Twitter if you are interested in that. Um, or if you just have any questions about the slate, or you need to ask me something, you can contact me on Twitter as well at the DFS underscore GOAT. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed. If this is your first time on my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I do upload these videos pretty much every day. Uh, so I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if you never want to miss out on any videos, uh, if you scroll down to where the subscribe button is, there is a bell icon. If you click that bell icon, that will actually notify you every time I upload. So be sure to do that as well if you never want to miss out on any videos. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Uh, good luck tonight, guys. Peace.